Councillor Stevenson. Yes, thank you. I'll, I'll kick things off. Um, just to say I'm incredibly grateful to Mayor Sohi and his team for developing this omnibus. I think it demonstrates exceptional leadership and, and the best of what collaboration is. Um, it's often easy to think of collaboration as a sort of a muddy middle, uh, leading to a lot of compromises that satisfy no one. Uh, but that's not what this motion does. Uh, instead, I believe it effectively balances the tensions between our current situation and, and our future needs. Uh, it's decisive where it needs to be decisive. Investing $100 million in bike plan is necessary. Uh, and this is a case where half measures are total failures. You can't leap a chasm in two jumps, and committing to this full build-out uh, helps us to achieve the mode shift that we need uh, to be successful. I believe it also responds to urgent needs in our community, uh, like housing and climate change, uh, that will make today better, while also setting us up for a more prosperous future. Uh, it also works to, towards rebalancing some of the historical inequities uh, with investments in Chinatown, which I'm, I'm really pleased to see. It's of course not without its trade-offs. Um, I do believe that the 100th Avenue Bridge could be a great place-making opportunity in our downtown, and I, I hope we can follow up on this uh, sometime again in the future. I'm also disappointed that we won't be moving forward with the full uh, high-level line design right now, uh, but I'm deeply grateful to administration for developing an approach uh, so that this can potentially be um, redone or be, be done in the future. I think that's a really prudent way, again, to, to balance um, our present conditions uh, and the future. So that is the strength of this amendment. It is forward-looking while still uh, rooted in the present. So thank you again to Mayor Sohi and his team uh, for your leadership on this, and I encourage my colleagues to support it. Thank you very much, Councillor Stevenson.